नमस्ते आई एम मंजुला वेलकम टू मंजुलाज किचन टुडे आई विल बी मेकिंग आलू पूरी स्पाइसी पोटैटोज विद ग्रेवी व्हिच इज आलू एंड पफ्ड होल व्हीट ब्रेड पूरी दिस इज सिंपल एंड मेक्स ए कंप्लीट मील दिस इज स्पेशली पॉपुलर इन नॉर्थ इंडिया इट कैन बी सर्व फॉर ए कैजुअल ब्रेकफास्ट लंच और डिनर दिस रेसिपी विल सर्व टू टू मेक पूरीज वी विल नीड वन कप ऑफ होल व्हीट फ्लावर आटा वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ सूजी सेमोलिना वन एर्थ टी स्पून ऑफ कैरम सीड अजवाइन हैफ ए टी स्पून ऑफ सॉल्ट नमक अप्रॉक्सीमेटली हैफ ए कप ऑफ वाटर वी आल्सो नीड ऑयल टू फ्राई टू मेक आलू पटेटोज विद ग्रेवी We need three medium size potatoes which I have already peeled and cubed in bite size. This will make about 2 cups of cubed potatoes, 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of oil, 1 teaspoon of cumin seed, jeera, 1/8 teaspoon of asafoetida, hing, 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric, haldi, 2 teaspoons of coriander powder, dhania. 1 teaspoon of crushed fennel seed soft half a teaspoon of mango powder amchur 1 teaspoon of salt 1/4 teaspoon of red chili powder 1 teaspoon of finely chopped ginger adrak 1 green chili finely sliced 1/4 teaspoon of garam masala this is available in indian grocery store about 2 tablespoons of chopped cilantro hara dhaniya first i will make dough for puris whole wheat flour suji caram seeds salt mix it well and now add the water we need to make the very firm and smooth dough So I will just save a little bit water. I think we need a little more. Dough is looking good, and I have used all the water. So now I will knead the dough uh, for a little bit, maybe for half a minute. So grease the surface and knead the dough till it is smooth and pliable. Okay, dough is uh, ready and like I said it should be very firm. So we need to keep this aside for about 15 minutes before we make puris. and just cover it with a damp cloth i am ready to make the aloos first i will mix the spices together so first i will mix some of the spices together in little water it prevents in burning the spices so coriander powder turmeric red chili powder salt fennel seeds ginger and green chili so just mix it with about 2 tablespoons of water so a spice mix is ready and heat is on medium high so first i will add the oil oil should be moderately hot before we put the cumin seed oil is ready so first i will put the cumin seed as you see and seeds are cracking as a patida just mix it for a second and add the spices and this stir this for about uh, half a minute the spices should be nicely cooked and now i will add the potato mix it well lower the heat to medium so potatoes are nicely coated with the spices cover the pan and let it cook for about 2 minutes 
So this has been about 2 minutes. So let's see the potatoes. They are looking good. And I am going to add about 1 and half cup of water. And after water comes to boil, I will cover the pan and let it cook for about 8 minutes. Okay, potatoes has been boiling. So I will cover the pot and lower the heat to medium and let it cook for about 8 minutes. It has been 8 minutes. So let's check the potatoes. I did check in between one time. Potatoes are looking ready and they are soft and tender. So just mush it little bit so that way you will get the thick gravy. Okay and as potato will cool off they will get more thick. So it's time to add the cilantro, garam masala and amchur. Mix it really well. Potatoes are ready. Turn off the heat and cover the pan uh, for few minutes before you serve. Potatoes are ready and now I will be making puris. It has been about 20 minutes when I made the dough. So I am ready to make the puris. So I will divide it into 10 equal parts. Okay. And I will grease the palm. Just little. And roll them. To make a smooth patty. If dough is firm, it uh, takes uh, less oil when you are frying and it's more uh, uh, crispy. Okay, and this is the last one. And now I am ready to roll them. So I will just grease a little bit my rolling pin, not too much, just lightly. And roll it. Into about 5 inch diameter. And heat is on. Uh, medium high. So oil should be ready soon. So you press the patty. And then just go slowly. Turn around. If you roll all of them at same time, they will not puff because they will dry up a little bit. I have rolled already about 5 puris, so let's see if oil is ready. Okay. okay, oil is ready, so let's put the puri in. It should sizzle and should come up right away. And as you press a little bit, it will puff. When my kids were young, they really love seeing uh, how the puris are puffing and same is my with my grandkids so it's nicely brown light brown and looking very good i'm going to fry the another puri just put it in press it slightly and turn it so they shouldn't be very brown. This is just a nice color. Just right. Spicy potatoes with gravy served with puffed flat bread puris are very delicious and satisfying. It is a very simple recipe. Makes a great complete meal. Nothing says comfort food like aloo puri. Enjoy. Thank you. Till we meet again, check out more recipes on manjulaskitchen.com. Also look for my ebook on Amazon. Thank you.